All right, today we're doing a video on the Black Tank Flusher. This one's called the uh, Tornado by Camco. So this one has like a rotary spinning head that will supposedly rinse out the tank. So this is on a Sunseeker 3250. This is a 19, but it didn't come with the tank rinser. So we're going to install one just so I don't, just so we can keep those sensors cleaned off. So I'm going to go over here. All right, we're just hooking the tornado up to the faucet here in the hose. Just want to see what kind of flow and spray pattern it does just to make sure it's going to be okay before I drill into my black tank. So I'm going to turn it on here. This is only about... That's only about halfway open. Doing pretty good. Sprays good. I'm going to turn that off and find a spot to put it. All right, here we are. This is Sunseeker uh, 3250. It's a 2019. This didn't come with black tank flush. This little tray here is in the kind of the wet compartment here. So I took this off to get access to the black tank. Black tank's right here. I can tell because that's our black valve. This is the tank here. This is the only exposed surface of the black tank. It goes, it's basically above the frame rails and it's all in a closed compartment, which is good. It keeps easy to keep it out of the weather it does not going to freeze it freezes easily a gray takes right here but it's really limited as far as options of mounting this tank flusher they say do it two inches down from the top of the tank well, this is about this lip here is almost two and three-fourths inches so I'm gonna have to go so I'd either have to do it like this is a little template that it comes with I either have to do it almost to the top of the very top of the tank or almost about three inches down the good thing is is the sensors are on this side the toilet's actually on the other side of the tank so it's not uh, it is far away from the toilet uh, the actual where waste is coming into the tank uh, good news is with the sensors being right here and this thing whipping around right here it's going to keep these sensors cleaned off so that's kind of the main main concern with installing a black tank flusher is just to keep the sensors clean because I've ha I had one in the past that didn't have a black tank flush and just these were always misreading so I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to go between these two sensors here or th this is just going to be too hard to go over right here so I think I'm going to go right between these two right here all right we'll get this template mounted up all right guys we got our two and three fourths inch hole drilled through the tank I was kind of concerned it looks like right up here is where the, um, there's a pipe that like kind of vents it. I was concerned that maybe there would be, it would go through, but I don't think it does. So I have clearance all the way around it. And the sensors you can see are right there. So it's gonna, um, I think this is gonna be an ideal location just to keep those sensors cleaned off and flush the tank. So now I'm just gonna mount it up there. All right, I got our, Holes drilled for the screws. I'm just going to use this. It's a uh, Auto Marine sealant, 100% RTV silicone. I use this on a boat project, so this should be pretty robust for this application. So I'm just going to coat the inside of the tornado all with this. Screw holes as well. And we'll screw it up. All right, it was lathered in silicone now I just pushed it up there I'm just gonna put the screws in screw it down all right I got the screws in <clears throat> you can see the silicone's kind of seeping out now what I'm gonna do is I want to they said to open the black tank so I'll just pull the handle leave the cap open and just kind of let it sit for a day just so the air gets in there to be able to dry it out let that silicone set up All right, now we have this all mounted up. We have to figure out a way to basically fill it with the hose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just, I measured how far down this is and then how far it is across the here. And I transfer those measurements to the shield. So I'm gonna cut a hole. The diameter, the widest diameter of this fitting here, this is basically like a backflow preventer so that water can't uh, flow from the black tank into the hose. It's only a one-way 
uh, valve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is going to, I'm just going to screw this directly into this. I don't really need that remote hose location, uh, you know, the extra hose they provide. So this is just going to go, so I'm going to drill the hole, mount this, you know, drill the hole right here, mount this back up, and then I'm going to screw this into uh, the flusher directly. And then I'll probably, um, the fact that this is an enclosed area, I should be able to just leave a hose connected to it and just leave it here in this compartment. So that way I can just do a quick connection to a flush out hose uh, when I'm flushing the tank. So we'll cut that down. I got the hole drilled now. I'm just gonna so I'm a, that didn't really line up as well as I thought it would. Okay, guys, got the cover back on. Here's what I decided to do. I use I'm using a, a length of this extension hose that co that it came with, so it's just connected in right there, and then I'm gonna leave the backflow preventer on the vacuum breaker they call it connected. Here, I'm even thinking of just leaving a hose connected to this, a dedicated flush hose. And then that way I can just connect it right to a spigot when needed. So I think this is just gonna hang out right there. I think that's uh, the best way. This I need to, maybe I'll find some kind of a panel I can put over it or something. But uh, anyways, that was the installation, guys. I'm gonna, uh, I'll be using it in uh, two, three weeks, and so I'll give a kind of an update then. What I'm going to do for now, I'm leaving the black, the black tank open, and it's just going to be open for uh, the next 24 hours, just so that seal, silicone can seal up and harden and cure. Uh, so you want to at least give it 24 hours before you start using that. But I'll give a kind of an update uh, after I've got a trip, a uh, three-week trip coming up on it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But thanks for watching. That's so Again, that's the Tornado, Camco Tornado Black Tank Flusher. Thanks for watching.